cost concepts and cost allocation in managerial accounting. We're going to look at the income statements and look at how the income statements change between the types of businesses that you could have. You can have a service business, and for a service business, the income statement is revenue minus cost of sales. And it's called cost of sales because it includes only material costs. Well, we don't have inventory in it if we're selling a service, do we? So what do we call it instead? You're right, it's supplies. So in this cost of sales, we can have supplies, we'll have uh, labor, direct labor, and we'll have overhead. So cost of sales primarily is labor cost because if you're providing a service, there's a lot of labor involved, isn't there? So revenue minus cost of sales gives us gross margin or gross profit minus my selling administrative and general expenses is equal to net income. And remember again, cost of sales includes supplies, labor, and overhead. Now, if we're dealing with instead a retail, retailer or a merchandiser, uh, our income statement looks a little different. It starts off with revenue or sales minus cost of goods sold. And remember, it's called cost of goods sold because if you're a retailer, you're selling products, is equal to gross margin minus my selling administrative and general expenses is net income. Now, when we look at um, selling a product as a retailer or a merchandiser, there are three uh, things you got to remember. You got to remember how to compute cost of goods sold, don't you? Well, that starts with beginning inventory. And remember, second thing you need to remember is there is only one inventory account in a retail business, and that's called merchandise inventory. So beginning inventory is all the inventory that's on your shelves the first day of the year. Plus, net purchases. What did you go out and buy during the year? Slap price tags on and say, customers, come in and buy from me. This gives me a subtotal known as cost of goods available for sale. So cost of goods available for sale. That's everything you could possibly sell a customer during the year. If you subtract from this ending inventory what you do not sell them, you get cost of goods sold, or COGS, cost of goods sold. The third kind of business that you could be a manager of is called a manufacturer. Now, when you're a manufacturer, your income statement looks exactly like a retailer's. Revenue minus cost of goods sold equals gross margin minus selling administrative in general equals net income. And yes, you too will have to compute cost of goods sold. But for a manufacturer, you have not one inventory account, but you have three different ones. So when you're looking at how do I compute cost of goods sold, it's a lot more involved. So we'll save that topic for the next time I uh, see you.